Hello, this is Miguel from Grumo, and I'm happy to introduce Challenge App, a fully customizable mobile app to create and launch and manage all kinds of online challenges. So like dieting challenges, workout challenges, running challenges, writing challenges, all kinds of challenges. A great tool to encourage your audience, yourself, your friends to accomplish all kinds of things when the new year happens or whenever you happen. It's a great lead generation tool. It's just a fun thing to do and they're very popular. To get a great discount on this mobile app template, you can go to grumo.com forward slash challenge app. And within the next 48 hours of me publishing this video, you'll be able to get a 50% off. And now how does challenge app work? Now, if you're a participant, you would search for a challenge that you like, and then you can simply click on any challenge and you can request to join the challenge. You can see the program. In this case, it's a seven day program. You can click on any of the days and see what's required to complete that day. You can see also a leaderboard. So let's pretend I want to join. So I'm gonna send a request to join. And now when you log in as the administrator, let's go back to the seven day fasting challenge. Uh, you'll see that there is a new request and I can decide what happens. I can either ban this user, delete the registration or accept this new participant into the challenge. I also can set the role for the participant in case I need help organizing this challenge or a new host for the challenge. I would set that, those roles here. But in this case, I'm going to just accept John Smith into the challenge. And now when I go back as the participant, I can see that I've been accepted so I can leave the challenge if I, if I want to. And now I'm allowed to start submitting whatever tasks are required for each of the days. So in this case, I can read the instructions and I can go and check in. There was nothing required for me to submit so I can keep doing this for all the days. Now, the days will be only unlocked on that specific date. So right now, the entire challenge is open. Uh, but if we go back and we actually change the date of the challenge, so let's put it a little bit into the future here. Okay. We can see now that the last three days are locked. That's because we're on day seven, right? So now as you keep completing everything, you will get a message saying that it's pending, that your submission is pending, because in this case, the settings say that the administrator or the co-organizer needs to check your submission, right, uh, before it gets approved. But that's a setting that can be changed, uh, obviously. Uh, but now let's just pretend that we're going to be completing all these days really quickly here. And now the administrator, let's log in as the, as the administrator, would see under all submissions all the pending submissions from all the participants. And now the administrator can either approve or reject the submission. So let's say we approve it. And when the participant logs into the app, they will be able to see that that specific day has an indicator in green, which means it has been approved. And if it's been denied, in this case, let's reject it. You can always set an explanation as to why you approved or denied a submission. And now that changes to red. All right. Okay, so let's say that now on day four of the challenge, I want to request some kind of type of some kind of submission so I can click the edit button and then I can require either a file upload, a photo upload, a URL or a text input. Let's say text input and let's click done. All right. So now uh, let me uncheck this day. But if I try to check in again, you'll see that now it's asking me to submit something uh, and I can enter any comments here. And in this case, all the submissions will be out or approved. So nobody's going to check this, uh, but that can also be changed. Uh, so if I go back as an administrator, I come back, go back to all these settings and there's many, many settings here. You can add a short description, log description, photo, a sales video, set the maximum number of people that can join the challenge, uh, the units of the program, either it's going to be day, weeks or months. Uh, we also have a countdown timer if you want to show people and create a sense of urgency before people join, uh, before the event starts. We can also charge for the 
event and enable uh, discount coupons if you want if we want to now this works with the stripe and at this moment if you want to charge you can do you can charge but you will have to register people manually after you charge for the event now in terms of submissions these are the global settings right now we have auto approve submissions so uh, they will be automatically awarded whichever points are worth its submission but you can say that for all the days or weeks where there is something is required uh, they need to either upload a photo or a file or something like that right now or just enter some text uh, comments if you want to enable discussions at the item level let's say every day under each day there's uh, you want discussions to be allowed you can do that here or at the challenge level so right now they're enabled at the comments label well we can enable them at the challenge level and click done so that means simply that when you scroll down there'll be a comment section where people can enter comments or at the day label at the day level here you can see that there is also a comment section you can enable that as you can see that now what else do we have here we got leaderboards by default the leaderboard is not enabled so you only see a list of participants uh, but if you enable the leaderboard it all that happens is that you'll be able to see people ranked by the points that they've earned uh, over the course of the challenge let's go back to the edit and see more settings and uh, we can also decide how many points they're going to get per submission so in this case they get by default is one but you could say maybe five and then whether they get a completion reward so once they've completed all the days do they get a reward and what does reward say so they what kind of message they're going to get so there's be there could be there's going to be a completion message uh, maybe a, the button that where they can claim the reward is going to have uh, some text uh, the URL for the reward for them to claim the reward and maybe a completion image and the way that works let's say that John Smith here is uh, completing everything here let's uh, check in and there's now <laughs> there is an input required here and uh, check in and let's check in all the days and you'll see what happens when John Smith finishes check in and automatically sticking to the congratulations page where they can claim their reward which is great give an incentive for people to complete the challenge is that they're going to get something in return and that way you will increase the completion rate of your challenge now creating a challenge from scratch is very simple you just click the plus button and only administrators can create uh, challenges and you select the start date the challenge title a description and the image so to get to create a challenge is very easy. Once you've created the challenge, you can enable all the other settings that I just mentioned. And you can also, the easiest thing is basically duplicate a challenge. So you click, click this and if you already have an existing challenge that you want to redo in the future, just click the duplicate challenge button and you are done. And that's a quick overview of how Challenge App works. I think it's a fantastic lead generation tool to encourage your audience to participate on events, either to launch writing challenges or fitness challenges or workout challenges or diet challenges or all kinds of online challenges that are very, very popular these days, specifically at the beginning of the year when people are setting their new year's resolutions. It's a great way to accomplish those goals together, have some accountability. And with Challenge App, you can do that very easily. If you want to get a great 50% discount to get access to this app template, all you have to do is go to grumo.com forward slash challenge app and the discount will be available for 48 hours since the publishing of this video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.